Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to part five of our quarantine quilt along. Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for hanging with me for a whole day of fun. This has been really incredible. I've had some ups and downs and, and moments where I just feel overwhelmed, but just thinking about the fact that we're all over the world sewing together, it's just such a, an amazing feeling. So I thought it would be appropriate to have a little beverage. <laughs> So I started the morning off with a mimosa, but it's been dry ever since. So this is my quarantini. Cheers, everybody. It's got all the good stuff. I feel my uh, voice is getting a little raspy. That's just from talking all day. And um, so in here, there's lemon, there, there's honey, there's ginger. So all the good stuff. Maybe just a little bit of vodka, but you know. Cheers, we made it through. And did we make it through some amazing quilts coming out so i have a huge quilt show to show you and i'm sorry i just kind of picked what i saw there's probably much more that has been posted so don't stop posting them i wanted to start off though with one little tip and this is something that i see some of you have been discovering and uh there's a reason why i don't do it in a pattern and I'm, let me explain that so first off look uh, we'll go to the overhead camera just to show you so when you have your rectangles remember we have our rectangles cut at 20 and a half and we're pulling our rectangles for our a blocks and we turn it one way and then our b blocks was the other way well here's the trick you can cut one of each at the same time by just having your fabrics uh, the right sides together so one is facing down one is facing up and you make your cuts and it will, you will end up with having one B block cut and one A block. Now, let me explain why I don't do that in a pattern. Number one reason is for the queen size, you don't have even numbers of the blocks. And so sometimes in my patterns, you don't have the even number of A's and B's, so that's why I like to split it up. Also, I have taught a lot of classes through the years, and so it's easier for me to break it up and just do one set of blocks and then switch gears to do the other set of blocks because it eliminates confusion and believe me there's mistakes to be made doing it this way too but i just wanted you to know about it that i actually know that trick too uh, that's just the reason i prefer to split it up trying to eliminate mistakes anyways so this is um now we have uh, lots and lots of quilts to show you first I want to show you um, Allison. Allison is up first. This is amazing. And what a great room she has to be able to lay it all out. Love that. That's probably one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a lap size. It's, it's a big lap size. No, that's, a, that's bigger. This is five rows down. So this must be a full. Um, so then we have Amanda. This is so beautiful. I don't know if these are solids or they may be... Uh, cherry wood fabrics, but I just love that. What a different cool look to do it in solid fabrics. Then we have Carolyn. Uh, this is just a tiny little start, but I cannot wait to see this quilt. Carolyn is using one of our stash builder bundles and it's, uh, it was called Marguerite. We sold out of it really fast because everything that's really pretty <laughs> goes away really fast, but I can't wait to see this finish. This would be beautiful. Dorothy. I believe it's up next. Awesome, awesome uh, blues. Those Japanese style hand dyed fabrics. So pretty and so cool. So you can totally do a quilt that's just all the same color, just different tones of the same color. All right, let's see who's up next. We have Ellen's blocks. Really great. I love that little pop of um, light blue in there. And then the next one up is Gina with beautiful, I believe that's batiks. Can't tell that. I got a small photo I'm looking at, but I love that. Um, and up next is Jackie. And she said she was using some unfortunate fabrics and Elvira had to share the design wall with Bonnie Hunter's Frolic mystery quilt. I love that. So, uh, Frolic, you'll have to get back to that one once you sew Elvira together. She's fast. 
But I don't think these are very unfortunate fabrics. I think they're actually great. I think she's going to use it on her boat. Perfect. How perfect is that? All right. Um, this is Janine, I believe. Love those colors together. The, this, this kind of looks like Terry Atkinson colors, if I have to be honest, but I love them. I love them all the same. Uh, Karen, I believe is next. Karen's quilt with black and white and just that red in the uh, little strip. Love how that looks. Very cool. <clears throat> All right, so next one up is Carla's. Carla, Alex, Carla um, Overland from Cherrywood Fabrics is so fun. How she uh, arranged it in a rainbow like that, rainbow effect. That's a really cool idea. Gives you lots of ideas, doesn't it? And the next one is Leah really cool modern fabrics i love how you have just mostly the the uh light one light fabrics just the low volumes and then just a little pop of some color and print leslie's her ombre blocks are together how cool is that it gives it a totally different feel having that extra dimension with ombre fabrics we have lorelei i love all the all the stripes and the polka dots so much fun going on there. Um, then we have Maya in Germany and she lost a block just like me. <laughs> so really great blues. I love that. This is kind of one of one of the examples of just doing one colorway. And we have Maria in Sweden. Love this. Just putting one color in with your neutrals. That gives it a really cool look. And I should say she was changing the layout up a little bit. She was just throwing these first on the floor. So she'll probably spread out that purple more. Uh, we have Martha with, she calls this her sassy Elvira. I love it. I think it's fabulous, the black, whites, and yellows. Um, we have one from, uh, oh, this one. This, <laughs> I just wanted to throw this out there. How many did this? How many did this throughout the day? Anybody? Are you going to fess up? You know how this happens? You have fabric that can be turned either way and you accidentally sew it, um, yeah, with the wrong side. So you get a little L, <laughs> little wonk, wonka doodle, but fun. Um, so this is Ola from Iceland. Uh, actually, me and Ola are related and it's amazing. She gives all of her quilts away for charity, raises money for charity, she's amazing. All right, so Pat, this is beautiful. Just really nice soft florals. I, ca I can't decide what my next Elvira will be. They're all so beautiful. Um, Paula, really great. She was, <laughs> she was making people guess about how old this fabric was. She found these fat quarters in her stash and I think they turned out great. They're, I think, uh, I don't know what fabric line that is. I think I had some of those back in the day, I, for sure. Then we have Rose, totally different, but totally awesome. Great big prints, very vibrant. Love that. Sally, what a great idea to include some uh, panels of Cat in the Hat. Look at how she used her uh, rectangles to use those cutout fabrics. And then we have Sue, really bright, fun uh, florals, yellows. Love that. That's sunshine. Sunshine. Don't we need that in our life right now? And we have Suzanne next. Beautiful prints. Love those prints. They how they really gel well together. We have more. Tara with her black and white quilt with that sharp uh, greenish yellow. Really cool. And we have Terry. All colors of the rainbow, but so pretty, very pretty. And then Vicky, we get two Vickies. This I love too, very soft colorway, but just one, one bright color with those neutrals. And then we have another Vicky with some very different uh, bright, I think these are Mar Marcia Durst's fabrics. I love those, really kind of graphic and modern and cool. Yeah, so a couple of more. Check this one out. This is Zoe Jo. This is Bonnie Hunter's new rescue puppy and she is so cute, I can't stand it. She's helping her mommy out, um, trying to figure out the layouts, I think. 
I don't know if she's more help or hindrance, but I just thought this picture was so awesome. <laughs> and this is from Kim Lepasek, and Kim doesn't do anything subtle. I love her quilt and her style. Just go all out. So all these florals are just so amazing together. Just put them all together if you're wondering. And then we have Pat Sloan. She's working on her red, black, and white. Love it. I love that diagonal plaid. I might need to get some of that. Uh, that's rare, but love that. So thank you all designers that have been sewing along. It's been fun to watch your progress and I appreciate it. And we are going to check it, check in with our last visit of the day. And that is all the way over in Australia. So welcome Jane Davidson. Quilt Jane. Hi. 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 I got to put my headphones so I hear you. Oh, good. <laughs> now I hear you. How are you? I'm fantastic. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. It's a beautiful sunny autumn day. We still haven't had cold weather. It's going to be about 32 Celsius today. Okay. Which is up in the 90s for you guys. Yes, it is. And unfortunately, it's the morning, so I can't be drinking mimosas, and I'm just having my coffee. Got your coffee. A really well, strong coffee. You know where this day is going. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Um, Cheers. So, great quilt so hanging behind you. Oh, Thank you. I had so much fun making this. I was supposed to go down to see Dad for his 90th birthday in Sydney this weekend, but we had to cancel the flights because of the COVID. And uh, so it gave me the chance to make it and quilt it. So it was a fast quilt, and I made the Christmas slide because mm -hmm. I'm at the stage in my life where all my friends are having grandchildren. Yes. So I've got about three or four coming within the next month. So I'm going wow. to make it perfect. Perfect. And that crib size is large. I mean, I don't usually it make is. tiny quilts, but it's kind of could be a throw, could be a crib. I mean, it's just nice. The kids can grow into it. It's a great size. Mm -hmm. And I used, um, I have <laughs> I've made more quilts out of these. I received a lot of these old fabrics. And, wow. Uh, I've, and I, they're just beautiful. Well, they've got a lovely flash of metallic through them. They're by Rashida Coleman for Motor, the Real Star Society. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I thought they went together really well. And I put a uh, black and white Michael Miller clown stripe for the stripes through it. Yeah. I used for this thing um, uh, rectangles. Me and my sister put out a collection called Weeds. And ah. it's think hypnotic. Um, curves. <laughs> <laughs> I just love using that, use that for the set and the bind. I know it looks great. It's awesome. A lot of people would be using separate fabric for the strip, so it's been fun to see all mm. the versions. Now, tell me how how is how are things going in Australia? I know some probably bigger cities have the same lockdowns yes. as we're experiencing, but you're out the they country do. more. Yes, um, mainly Melbourne and Sydney, um, and Sydney. I'm just about 15 meters outside the city, but everybody is happy to do it. Um, it's calmed down about the paper situation. I find in Australia and have to. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but people um, rush to get these really unimportant commodities. Um, I think they made them. Uh, still have plenty of food on the shelves now you have to buy um, one milk or one vinegar one tray of milk so you mm -hmm. know how to do go and do yeah. more shopping I did uh, everyone's trying to keep away from restaurants and shopping centres going out if we can you know we're just following the normal hygiene cleaning hands all the time self isolating yeah. and watching um, for signs of sickness but yeah. we're happy and we're all locked in our houses um and we're so <laughs> yes that's universal for us quilter and it's such a healing thing and today i know it's just starting for you and i know a lot of groups in australia are going to be sewing today for you which is monday and they were gonna start about this time so yes. all of you that are out there in australia getting up i'm so excited that you're gonna be able to go through all the videos and sew some more uh, Elvira's 
Down Under. It's a fun quilt, really. I was lucky enough to have the uh, room. It's yeah. the, I think one. Yeah, that's the first one. Mm -hmm. I had um, a hoarder of colors, and I created colors, and I had the 60 degree one to do the notch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if you can see the film that well from here. I'll just yep. walk over. Mm -hmm. Come on. Show I, it off. Just to remove really accents, I um, cut the corners off the 60 degrees and put some black stripes in there. Okay. So, we'll have to I'll post just, a photo of it, a close up, so people can see. Yeah, it. That's a great just option. To, um, Add some more in. fun. Um, just to um, just give with things and you can piece your own fabrics mm -hmm. to make blocks i think yeah it'd be interesting absolutely. if you yeah. have enough of a fabric yeah yeah absolutely well it's been so fun checking in with you i i love the fact that we're kind of global and bringing to quilters together from all over and we have to keep in touch and um i i'm sure you've had quilters reach out to you as as do i through my group um uh, so a lot of people are live alone and so this isolation yes. is tough and so we fortunately as quilters have our sewing rooms to just kind of congregate in and and get lost in the fabric but i encourage everybody in australia to reach out to us everybody on social media and it's easy to connect and and feel a part of a bigger community it is. it's a wonderful community mm -hmm. i love your patterns Goodrin, I Thank you. love your designs and it's wonderful. So I'm hoping that all the Australians today will make one of these quilts. Yes, uh, I can't can wait to get to... up tomorrow and see some posts. Uh, and see them in the feed, yes, and don't forget to tag them on social media. It's yeah. um, hashtag QQAL. QQAL. And yes. tag me. So on Instagram, I'm uh, G Designs Goodrin. And on mm -hmm. Facebook, I both have the uh, business page and then I have the group, Goodrin's Quilt Crew. So they can post in there, which is always easier than to do business pages. So we have a lot mm -hmm. of virus already in the crew on the page. Inspiration. Mm -hmm. I, I just love it. Um, one thing I love when I teach, walking and seeing all the personalities. Yeah. Everyone chose, they are always different They've yes beautiful. that's my favorite thing too when i teach mm. i see all these gorgeous mm. quilts get started and i'm a fabricaholic so i love to see all the different fabrics but the problem was i never got to see the quilts finished so this is when i started the group now i get to see the finished quilts that my students start in class so it's just been fabulous it, it is so it makes it worth it all all right well thank you so much for joining us jane i really appreciate you being with us and take care of yourself over there and everybody else be safe and keep sewing. Bye, Jane. And you, and you, and so uh, that was fabulous. Everybody's up in Australia and gonna get going. That's just a, a, such a warm feeling to know that um, we have so many sewing with us. Now this, this day is done and I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of overwhelmed and um, Yes, I get emotional to start thinking about everything that's gone on and everybody's been watching and sewing with us. So I'm just going to have a sip so I don't get choked up. <laughs> but um, we have had a winner. We have to announce some winners. So our winner for the last segment, number four, was Marsha Vincent. Congratulations. And then we, of course, have to announce a winner from this particular section so we'll give we'll give the producer a couple of minutes to get that ready but um, I just wanted to remind you of a few things so if you enjoy today first off I would love to hear from you right now what has been your favorite part about the day um, a favorite tip something that you picked up that you didn't know before someone that you met or saw that you didn't know before uh, I'd love to hear that 
I will, of course, um, if you, if I am even new to you, uh, you know, my website is gequiltdesigns.com on social media. I have my business page that you are watching this live feed right now. I also have a group called Goodrin's Quilt Crew, which is a fabulous close group. Very nice and friendly and i do a lot of things in the group sew alongs i do a strip along every year which is just a more fun way of doing a sew along so using two and a half inch strips and that's actually something i had already planned for next month so who knows if that gets moved up since we're all going to be home now you never know so um, it'll be fun to have you join me there uh, i do a live show every week on Fridays out of the group is called Facebook Friday and it's at 3 p.m. Central Time when I'm home. Now I'll be home so it'll be probably 3 p.m. Central Time on Fridays for the next few weeks. And then I do another live show out of the business page which is called Tipsy Tuesday. Tipsy Tuesday, yes, I don't um, actually drink on that one. It's called Tipsy Tuesday because I share, always share a tip. Sometimes I have a guest on and always something to, to share and learn. And of course, this coming Tuesday will be a Tipsy Tuesday and we'll do a kind of a recap on our Elvira sew along. So I'd love to hear some comments from you, what you enjoyed and what you liked. Uh, of course, I have, if you like some of the video aspect, I do have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. The easiest way to find them too is just on my website under a link that says videos. You can watch all the tutorial videos. Um, I have videos on all of the rulers, the Strabology rulers. I have all kinds of tutorial videos. And then I have videos on some of the things that I talked about on the point trimmers. I have a video on piecing accuracy. I have a video on backings, piece backing. So, so fun stuff to watch now that um, you are at home and probably run out of Netflix stuff to watch. Uh, then I wanted to point out too that of course I have a website, uh, a shop. And so uh, if you wanna thank me for doing what I did today for you, uh, just share the video, share my information, of course, um, the shop is open since we are at home and my inventory is all here and we're able to ship whether we go on full lockdown or not. So I'm excited about that. It keeps us all busy. And uh, right now my daughter is uh, filling orders. So <laughs> we got some in today. So she's filling orders. And I just want to remind you too to support your local quilt shops. If they are staying open, if they're offering drive up service or anything, um, or if they have an online shop. So support them if they stay open. And then just take a breath. And don't be afraid to reach out to us on social media, to other quilters. Uh, we, there's something that ties us all together. And if today was anything, we just know that we're all connected. So thank you so much. I, um, we have one more winner to announce. Our fifth video winner is Kathleen Baker. So thank you, Kathleen, and congratulations, Kathleen. We will reach out to you through um, social media, through a messenger on Facebook, most likely, and make sure that you get your $25 gift card to go shopping. And um, again, thank you so much. I um, am going to drink my drink, put my feet up, and take a breath. And I hope you all do the same. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.